Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Cherie and this is Lady Red Lifestyle. So in today's video, we'll be going over my favorites. I love a favorites video, but this is something that I don't do on my channel often because I'm particular and I don't like a whole lot of stuff. So I don't wanna use something once or even twice and then come on here and say, it's my favorite. You know, I need to use this stuff. We need to become acquainted with one another. I need to know, are you talking about me? Are you showing all my pores, all my imperfections? You know, what are you saying to people in the streets about me? That's how I know if you're my favorites. So I have some old and new products and fairly new products here to share with you guys that I I look back and I was like, yeah, we vibing with one another. I show you in my videos quite often and I use you in my everyday life or once a week when I put makeup on, being honest. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab stuff. So starting off with Pat McGrath, this is the Mega Mothership Celestial Palette. This palette is phenomenal, phenomenal. And this is more or less a recommendation. I feel like every makeup artist who does freelance work should have this in their kit. I say that to say this, when you're starting off your, now I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm not a professional makeup artist. Let's make it clear. But when you're starting off your makeup kit, a lot of people, and this is, this is true, you start off with what you can afford, right? So you go to Morphe and then you grab one of their large palettes and that is great for a starter kit. But then as you progress, I feel like this is an awesome palette to add to your kit. Because as you build your clientele, and listen, we're in the day and age where everybody knows these brands. So when they look over and you charging premium prices, and you got a whole lot of inexpensive product right here. I'm just saying, I know y'all know where I'm going with this. I think this palette is around $80. And MAC also sells palettes like this that you can also throw in your kit. And if you can't afford it, listen, Christmas and birthdays, you write this stuff down. This is about investing in yourself. You write it down, so then when someone says, what do you want for your birthday? You already got it. You already got it, you're investing in yourself. Boom. The next two products that I'm loving is from Natasha Denona. I absolutely love this. And I have both the Bloom and Bronze and Chic palette. And I've noticed, let me open this up for you. I have been using this quite often. I have been reaching for this and that's how I knew that this was love because I'm like looking for it and now it's up front and center so I don't have to search for her no more. I spend less time putting on makeup now. Just that no makeup makeup look makes me look young and refreshed and vibrant. That's what this gives me all in one palette. Now the Bloom palette is that bit of color that I might need, you know? Just a little a little touch of this on the cheeks. Awesome, and I could have wore it with this look, but I didn't, wasn't thinking about it. But this is a beautiful palette that I think that everyone would love. And FYI, you can achieve the same looks with I'm sure products that you already have. But for whatever reason, I have been reaching for these products and I'm in love. What else can I say? So let me clean some of these products off. You know, they are well loved, well used. So this bronzer, 
I think you know what I'm talking about when I say bronzer. It has been all over the place. Everybody uses this bronzer apparently, or everyone on YouTube does. But Miss Charlotte Tilbury, this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And I know that a lot of YouTubers were saying that it just blends effortlessly, that it does all the blending for you and mm, music to my ears. I never had any issues with any of my other bronzers, so I didn't, it works like all the rest of my bronzers that I own, but it is a beautiful bronzer nonetheless. And I got shade three and let me show you what it looks like because she is well look you can't even tell that I used it wow this is gonna take me a long time to get through but I pick up this bronzer every single time that I go to bronze and it is pricey because of the compact I love that she made it where you can keep this beautiful compact and you can just there's a little hole right here and you can just punch it through and you can replace the bronzer when it needs to be replaced. So it's refillable. Love that. Moving on to foundation. Now I have two foundations here. And like I said before, if you've been watching all of my foundation videos, I have been on the struggle bus. Yes, she has. This foundation gave me no issues. And this is by Patrick Star, One Size. And I have been using this product. I absolutely love this foundation. And like I said, he did an awesome job with it. And I have no complaints. There is nothing for me to complain about. I love everything about it. I picked up shade medium dark one in G and I have no complaints. There is nothing I can say negative about it. I love it. It's a beautiful foundation and I highly, highly recommend it. Now one of the foundations that have been giving me problems is Miss Fenty Beauty. Not because the foundation isn't good, it's because I've been having a difficult time finding my shade. And I believe it's because she offers such a wide range of shades which makes it all inclusive, but also makes it very challenging, right? I mean, and I am not complaining, but I swear there's always something to complain about. Isn't it? Always. So she made it where there's so many shades that everyone can find their shade, but then now it becomes a challenge because there's so many shades and it's like, where do I fit? What, you know what I mean? So. It is what it is, but I love her powder foundation just as much as I love Patrick Star's foundation. I also highly recommend this product. Love, love, love. This is a great foundation and a staple piece to have your personal makeup kit, your professional makeup kit. I love this foundation. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful on the skin. And I've said it time and time again, I prefer powder foundation over liquid now what i am going to do is because i find myself not having a lot of time um i am going to get either patrick or fenty it doesn't matter probably patrick because i have easier time there and get it just for highlighting for an example for mother's day i only had 10 minutes to do my makeup and i put the bare minimum on my face the bare minimum and as I was doing my makeup quickly, I realized I'm like, listen, I need a foundation that I can put underneath my eyes instead of concealer because I don't have time for all of this. And speaking of powders, I do have a lot of powders, soft focus powders that I can put underneath my eyes, but they don't have coverage. So that's why I will go for a foundation to put underneath my eyes lightly. Speaking of powders, so I picked up this eye blurring powder from Pat McGrath. I love this powder. This is a beautiful powder and I've used it quite a few times. And it hasn't replaced my MAC 
soft focus powder because I've been going more for a no makeup makeup look this is what I've been grabbing I actually have it on right now and this is a beautiful powder and this is her newest shade in shade yellow I haven't tried any of the other shades and it was funny because I was going to because my girl Kelsey had mentioned it on her channel how much she loves this powder but it was in a different shade and when I decided to go look for it I heard she was launching the yellow so I waited for this one to come out and this is a beautiful powder to give you that bright highlighted look in a more natural way in comparison to Max version so everyone knows about this product this is nothing new to the makeup game everyone loves this product it's on everyone's channel and I decided to pick her up and I love her yes this is the shape tape concealer in the shade 345 medium sand and this this be having me highlighted I mean highlighted I have to tone it down so I might pick up a new shade but not anytime soon I'm very satisfied with this concealer and the shade but being that I'm going for that more natural look nowadays I might get another shade but honey this concealer is $30 so I'm not getting it anytime soon so moving on to eyeliners this is from Tarte I believe this is the best eyeliner on the market the best I said it you heard it here this is dual sided so we have an eyeliner for the waterline beautiful 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 black a deep black and then the other side is a felt tip for a wing liner love this this is fantastic and I love this eyeliner I love this eyeliner yay for Tarte this is great I don't see anybody else using this this is a phenomenal eyeliner and again I highly highly recommend it now moving on to affordable eyeliners and this is from ColourPop I have tons of these okay lots and lots and lots I just picked up two just to show you but yes they have great eyeliners for the waterline and they last and that's all that matters to me and I think they go for five dollars each great great price and you don't have to buy all those expensive listen I don't want a name drop but before I discovered these eyeliners she was buying Marc Jacobs you know that cost so I'm not going back I'm sticking with these I love them I love them I love them and they cost five dollars you cannot beat that you go from spending 30 to 40 dollars for an eyeliner really really to five dollars she never again never again so I also recommend and this is from Target you can get this at Target you can get this at Ulta and these are the shock wave by LA girl also highly highly recommend she not gonna be paying them prices no more that is just too much it is ridiculous to be paying 30 40 dollars for an eyeliner it makes no sense I don't care whose name is on it shoot I'm rocking with these forever as long as they continue to sell them I'm rocking with them now let's talk about lips now I was buying all of my lip liners from Mac you know I'm Mac head you know I got Mac 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 everything Mac but anyway Mac has awesome lip liners but of course but I stumbled upon Morphe's lip liners and that's what I'm using this color right here I just filled it in and put a lip gloss on top 
I love their lip liners. This is great, great, great for people to add to their kits if they need to. I do not remember how much they cost, but they are affordable and you can buy a boatload of them and save you tons of money because $20 for a lip liner, some of these things is just, it's insane. It's insane how much that costs, you know? So highly recommend highly recommend obviously because it made my favorites video so i have one more product to show you guys one more product and this product is coming from patrick star and i love this product yes i believe it's called go off makeup dissolving mist this is an amazing product and I use it all the time. And I love the fact that if you go to Sephora, I saw a little mini version of it. So I don't quite use it all the time. I use it sparingly when I have a lot of makeup on my face and my towelettes are not as moist as I need them to be. I will use this because I believe this costs $30 too. So yeah, I don't really use it that often, but I use it. I use it. And that's why I'm peeping game when I go to Sephora and I see the little one in the checkout section. I'll be like, mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to pick up when I run out of the, the big one. That one. Because the towelettes, I don't care where you go, who you get it from, they dry out. They do. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.